Hey everybody, it's Heather here from Fatty Soap, and today I'm doing a collab with Kathy De Clumsy Soaper. I will leave the links to her channel below. Kathy reached out to me, hi Kathy, and wanted to do a collab, and I'm so excited because this is my very first collab, so I hope that it goes good. I'm sure it will. I would love to do more collabs, so if you guys are soapers and you want to do a collab, just message me, and I'm sure I would love it. I actually have some really good ideas for some other collabs to do. Um, so anyways, Kathy's going to be doing the crazy hanger swirl, and she was inspired by my hippie chick soap that I made a couple months back, and I didn't really, I don't really think the crazy hanger swirl is like an official technique, but I called it that because that's kind of how I felt when I was doing it, so I'm glad she liked it, and I hope that her soap turns out beautiful. I'm sure it will. Kathy is so sweet, and like I said below, or like I said above, <laughs> I will leave the uh, I will leave the links to Kathy's channel below so you guys can check her out. So you guys can check her out. So for my technique, I'm going to do a sculpted layers technique. And what I did was I grabbed a little piece of plastic junk mail that I had and I kind of cut it to give it some nice edges. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mold and I'm going to go layer by layer. It's going to be a really simple soap, but hopefully it's going to be really pretty. And I'm just going to give it a nice little swipe through like that. So I've got four different colors here. I've got the Hollywood pink, the Celadon green, some 24 karat gold, and some sunset orange. And to my orange and to my gold, I've added a touch of titanium dioxide just to mute the colors a bit. And I'm going to be using cucumber melon from Save On Scents. It is a BBW type. I think that means Bath and Body Works. So I've got my luxury oils here that I've got all together and let's get started. So I think what I'm going to do, because I'm not sure how this fragrance oil works, I probably should have tested it first, but I think I'm going to do, um, I'm not going to put my fragrance oil in everything at once, I'm going to kind of wait. And I think the, the order of the colors that I'm going to do is, I'm going to do orange on the bottom. I'm going to follow that by green, then I'm going to do pink, and then I'm going to do my um, gold. I feel like one of those carnival, where is it? See if you can find the P, right? Okay, so let's get started. I got my lye water here. Better put my little Googles on. They're kind of dirty. Oh well, that's all right. That's okay. Okay, so first things first, let's get my lye water in. Give it a little, little, uh, oh, I don't have my, I don't have this thing plugged in. What the heck is wrong with me? First, you must plug in your stick blender or it will not work. 
Soaping 101. By the way, if you're new to soaping and you're looking for soap making resources, I recommend Soaping 101. Okay, I'm not going too crazy with this because, like I said, I'm going to be dividing it up and stick blending some more. So, use my little measuring thingies. I want to have these as even as I can, but I'm not going to go crazy if it's not perfect. So. Well, I might go crazy, but it won't be because my soap batteries aren't even. I promise you that. Okay, first things first, right? keep ourselves organized here so we can have a little sanity in our lives. Okay. Normally I would mix my micas in with my with an oil base, but I decided I didn't feel like doing that today. So, we'll just Hopefully this doesn't rice or anything or go crazy. It's nice, it's a nice smell. It's a subtle smell. If you like subtlety, you will love it. If this thickens, it won't bother. Oh, this worked out good. Normally, um, melon micas, or fragrances, I'm sorry, don't accelerate if anything they decelerate which is what i was kind of hoping for just because well i don't know what i was hoping for but pour that baby in there now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to wait a little bit and make sure that this sets up good so we can get the some definition in the layers this would probably be a great technique to use with a floral soap because florals move super fast and you would be able to just kind of keep going. I'm not in any hurry, so it's not gonna bother me if this takes, well, it will bother me if it takes all night, but it's not gonna bother me if it takes a little bit of time. So, it's kind of at a medium trace right now. But I think what I will do while this, while I'm waiting for this to thicken up just a hair, I'm going to mix my colors in with my other soap batter. That way all I have to do is add my fragrance oil when it's time. And I think I will just use this little spoon right here for spatula. It's starting to storm outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. We've been having a lot of thunderstorms lately, which I love. Oops, making a mess. I think when I get finished with, um, mixing these by hand, I'm going to do just a quick little stir with the stick blender. Or maybe I'll do that right when I'm ready to... I forgot what, how I wanted it to look. I think gold. 
and then no, oh for crying out loud, I think I went orange, gold, pink, green. I don't know. To make sure you guys can see this. I think this is ready. Let's see here. Oh yeah, look at that. So I think what I'm going to do is go forwards and backwards. Well, what am I doing? Maybe what's going to happen is I'm going to have to take a little bit out. I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I'll go like that. Here, go like this. I don't know what I'm doing. And I did take my glasses off, by the way. They were driving me nuts. I'll put them back on. Don't judge. Guys, I'm having a hard time here. That's my problem. You know what? Good enough. I'm going to push it all the way to the side. And I'll like smush the schmutz off. Okay, back on with the hot sticky glasses. And next color. This actually is setting up pretty good. You know, I don't like how this is looking. I'm doing it my other way. Hold on one second. I'm doing, I'm using this thing. It's dirty with micas that I use, but I don't like this. I don't like the looks of this, you guys. So I'm going to do it the way I normally do it because I think it looks better that way. And all I do is I take this little thing and I go back and forth and I make grooves and that's that's what it's all about you do the hokey pokey okay my god who doesn't love the hokey pokey don't all raise your hands at once yeah I like that better even though it looks a little weirder, I don't seem to care much. And now we're going to do this guy. Ooh, almost lost my fragrance oil here. We do the hokey pokey. I don't know if like mixing in titanium dioxide oil is the best idea, but I think it's okay. It did give it a more muted color, which is what I was looking for. So, just kind of like pour that really gently on top, not to disturb my sculpted layers. Yeah, I don't like that thing. It wasn't, it's probably my fault, I'm sure it is, because the grooves aren't as deep and I think if I had a really nice big slab mold to work with here, I would be more happy with it, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's see how this guy is doing. This is doing fairly well. I'm going to make my grooves. I'm 
little bit of orange is getting dragged along. That's okay. This is actually moving fairly good. I mean, it's given you enough time to play, and then at the same time, it's, uh, you know, my batter is not totally uh, thick to begin, it's not totally thin to begin with, but So you guys, I hope that you are enjoying this video. If you are, so you guys, I hope that you're enjoying this video. If you do like it and you want to see more soap making videos, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers because when I get to a thousand subscribers, I can unlock some features that YouTube has. Mainly, I want to do live streaming from my phone. I was. So if you like and subscribe and help me get to a thousand subscribers, that would be wonderful. I would appreciate it. Okay, next I'm pouring my pink layer. This is the Hollywood pink from Vibrance, or I'm sorry, <laughs> from Nurture Soap Supply. I should put my glasses back on. And this is a pretty pink. I didn't, I hardly used any because I wanted it to be more subdued. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, tornado warning, you guys. Maybe I shouldn't be here. Oh, I hope I'm protected in this place. I'm starting to get nervous, you guys. Yeah, I'm here, honey. I'm just mixing up my batter. Okay, guys. Well, I finished my sculpted layer soap with my collab with Kathy the Clumsy Soaper. Don't forget to check her out in the links below. Come back tomorrow to see how it looks, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, everybody. It's Heather here from Fatty Soap. Today I'm going to be cutting the soap that I made with Kathy the Clumsy Soaper, and this was our first collab. I was Kathy's guest collaborator, and I'm so honored to be that. Thank you, Kathy. So I'm going to just get started cutting the soap and I will explain to you what I've done as I cut the soap. So our inspiration for this soap was summer and I'm going to put a little picture up here that Kathy sent me for our inspiration.
Kathy decided to do the crazy hanger swirl technique that she was inspired of from my soap, and I decided to do a sculpted layers soap. So originally I had cut out a little, um, a little piece of plastic that I was going to use for this. When I had started making my soap, it wasn't working the way I wanted, so I ditched that idea and I decided to just use my little popsicle stick instead. So this is the effect that I got here. It's just a little sculpted um, swirly lines and to be honest with you, I actually like this a lot better so I'm glad that I originally scrapped that idea. So anybody that might be here from Kathy's channel, I just wanna thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope that you found this helpful and I hope that maybe you're inspired to do some of your own different techniques and to any of you sobers out there who would like to collaborate with Kathy or I, we're both open to, to collaborators, so get a hold of either one of us and let's see what we can do. Okay guys, here you go. This is it. This is our, this is the first soap that I've collaborated with. And once again, I would like to thank you so much, Kathy, for having me as your guest. I really am honored. And I hope and pray that you have great success with your YouTube channel, with your soap making, and I just wanna say how enjoyable I think you are and what a blessing you are to me, especially. So guys, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the bell to be notified when I make new videos. I'm kind of inconsistent with my soap making videos, but I do like to try to get out one or two a week and sometimes it goes every other couple weeks, but I'm on it, I'm working on it, so I think there, there can be value to you. Um, there's a few other things that I've been considering doing too, like beading and do-it-yourself type things, so if that interests you, let me know. And if there's any kind of videos that you'd like to see, just let me know, because I'm open to that as well. So guys, thanks so much, and have a great day. Bye.